So what is pi? Hello guys, if you're watching this video, you are probably familiar with formulas like c is equals to pi d, c is equals to 2 pi r. What is pi? What is this pi? Now, pi is the relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. It indicates or shows how many diameters make the circumference of a circle. Now, if we spin this circle once, it leaves a track that is equal in length to its circumference. We want to see how many diameters do we need to make this length that is equal to the circumference of the circle. So we have one, two, three, and we need only a little bit more from the fourth diameter. It turns out that the circumference is equivalent to one, two, three diameters and a little bit more from the fourth diameter. This is true for any circle that you can think of, that you can dream of, that you can draw or see. So we need three and a little bit more diameters to make the circumference of any circle. It is this three and a little bit more that we assign the symbol pi. So the circumference of a circle is equal to three and a little bit more diameters. This is the formula you are probably familiar with. We use this formula to find the circumference of a circle. Now we have the formula C is equal to pi D. If we divide both sides by D, we end up with the ratio C over D is equal to pi. So we say pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. If you want to sound a bit fancy, you can say the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is 3 and a little bit more. Of course, sometimes we take pi to be 3.14 or 22 over 7. Now, how much is this little bit more is what we'll be looking at in the next video, in which we'll explore the numerical value of 